All right, ready and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're into another game. This time we do have um, is it Turkey versus Albania? Is that yeah, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, right? All right. Yes. I was doubted myself <laughs> halfway through that sentence, but we're good to go. It's been a rather long day, but we have another couple of games coming up for you guys. So, um, yeah. what can we expect from this one? I mean, the Turkish squad last time around looked really good. Yeah, that's the big thing. Uh, I mean, Turkey looked so solid. I think for me. This is one another one of those games where they can just basically just showcase their individual prowess. This Turkish side, I don't think it's all kind of deep playoffs where they may already have actually a spot locked in. I don't actually even think they're going to have to really dig too deep into the strap book. I think they're, for okay. me, uh, such a solid team. They're, they're, they're a side who can kind of just fall back on individuals uh, so more often than not. I don't think they really need to call too heavy in towards this one. And, you know, for Albania... It's a region uh, as, as a whole, which has always been quite puggy. They're more than happy to play Super Aggro type of Counter-Strike. The same way Turkey like to as well. I think this is going to be a real clash of quick Counter-Strike. And it will come down to the raw fa factors of um, individuals and 50-50s and who's going to win the aim jewels. Surely you've got to back Turkey um, in this one. Let's take a look at the rosters. We'll start with Albania on the other side. And I have to say, um, I don't actually know any of uh, uh, the people on this, on this team. So I'm interested to see kind of how they compare up. We've got Faceman. Alki, Org, Zig, and ooh. take a label. I don't know. Take a label. Take a loud. Loud. Yeah. <laughs> that was a little harder, but column yeah. Tigger, Tiger. I don't know which yeah, one we want to go. Tiger kind of works. I guess Tiger's tiger, like a short think. one, and then I, think, I mean, we'll, we'll go with that until somebody else says something different. That's where we're going yeah. for. So, um, Anyone in chat? If you're from Albania, let us know if there's like a better way to pronounce that. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's already the first one we've had a little bit of trouble with, but um, that's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, I think uh, on the Turkish side, again, we've seen them play before, but uh, M-Star, X-Floud, Emo, Bokadia, and Jota. And I would say for, for me, like coming into the last time we saw them, I obviously recognize Emo and Bokadia and X-Floud really well. For me, it was like, oh, that's fine. They're going to be great. It was really uh, Jota who was, who was stealing away a lot of the, the highlights last time. He was really sick. It was good. Yes. Excited. You had obviously seen him before, but uh, it was kind of a first for me. It's really cool. Yeah, um, just as, you know, for, for me, he's, he's just such a talented guy. I think he's a youngster who's come through the scene. He was part of Eternal Fire Academy, so at least he'll know all these guys that I've played with in the, in the past because he currently plays with x Floud on the Sangal, and the, it's a really solid side. And, of course, Emo and Acadia, um know each other very, very well, as, as we all know. So, yeah, it, it, this is a, a cool team. I think it's a real kind of uh, mixture of, most of the best players within the Turkish region who are so damn solid, of course, with Emo and Bukhati, they play together on a regular basis in Tier 1. I mean, they've been so good recently. That Eternal Fire roster, x and Jota and the Sangal have been really climbing the ranks of in Tier 2. I think they went for a, a rebuild Sangal where they moved away from being a full Turkish team, went international, bringing in the likes of uh, LNZ, Linus, of course, who played for NIP for a little bit. People know him, the Swedish guy, Sami, uh, a Polish player who's been around for a little bit, in all fairness. And then Youngster, who's this new young Swedish talent that is, yeah, he's pretty incredible. I can't lie. He's, he's very, very good. Definitely uh, one to keep an eye on for. And they've actually uh, recently qualified to Pro League as well by winning uh, ESL Challenge League online. So you, you will be seeing x okay. and Jota uh, soonish on a big LAN environment. But... Um, this Turkish team is really good. We caught them yesterday. Man, they look they look really good. I mean, they they, yeah. they were very, very comfortable on Vertigo. Looks like a very good map for them. You created a couple of moments and against a full squad, but I I'm assuming I'm coming towards this one with pretty high expectations in all fairness for for for, for yeah. this uh, Turkish side just to, to kind of roll through it. Yeah, and I mean, somebody like Wikardia is going to be a, a monster and a best of one. So we have the veto ready for you guys to see which map we're going to end up on. They actually did see, you see Vertigo last time when we saw it. This time, it will be on Mirage again, the battleground here. Don't necessarily hate it, don't really mind it. Again, I think the Turks are going to be quite strong for this one. So, um... Yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, I noticed there were a lot of Turkish football memes going around. I don't know what they're about, so I can't I can't even help out. But I, if I knew, I would make a reference to to whatever is going on over there in the world of football. What what, what I mean? What, what in particular? Oh, you mean with, with the Euros? Yeah, they lost yesterday. It was, they uh, lost yesterday. Okay. Yeah, they Rip. they were one nil up. Uh, like kind of like thirtieth minutes or like that. A nice little header, and then uh, second half it was two quick goals. Rather than score like two goals in like six minutes. One of which okay. was uh, an own goal as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was rough. They, they lost 2-1 and, yeah, 
they out, out in the quarterfinals, which is actually kind of normally where, where where Turkey do drop out. They're a good team, but they're always like a dark horse team. They're never like a like a favorite. Where Netherlands are a team that people would expect to make it to a semi. So. Yeah, sad for them. But maybe they, you know, good, good performance here. They they may uh, have not made it through in this one, but maybe they can make it to the World Esports Championship. So these, the eSport comparison turn. Hell yes. Uh, they can shine on the big stage. Like you saw, Mirage is our map. I think this is just going to be one of those ones where it is, like I say, going to be very buggy. My expectation is it's going to be a very quick game of Counter Strike. Yes. Where, you know, um, the, the Turkish side are going to be more than happy to take aim jewels. I'm expecting Albania to be this very loose quick style of play which is just something that is is kind of akin to the region and i look at that and say that this is going to be a clash of the titans in the sense of their style of play very very similar but then it'll come down to the individuals who's going to be the crisper ones you normally would lean in favor of turkey the 2-0 so far in group a they've picked up obviously that win against ukraine that we covered they also got another win literally uh just a few moments ago against armenia 13 to 5 where albania played against ukraine and they lost 13 to 10. So with how okay. solid Turkey looked to get Ukraine beating them, and the fact that Ukraine have beat Turkey, I mean, so that Ukraine have beat uh, Albania, it, it makes you kind of sit here and say, the the, the, the clear oh, favorites yeah. are there, right? You know, if, if you put two and two together. Yes. I uh, I, I think Turkey could go pretty far uh, this particular okay. season at ISF. Like, they look like they have a, a solid lineup. I guess the, the big worrying factor could be if it goes to land... Can they actually bring Bacardi, or or is he or is he going to be? I don't think they can. I think he's going to be up early. I don't. I do you know what? Think about this well. I think three out of five of these guys aren't going to be here. I I don't. Ooh, I don't. Okay. I don't think. Uh, yeah, X Loud and Jota are also going to be a pro league as well. So the, it might actually be a bit of a weird one. I'm pretty sure it like. It, okay, it, it really depends if they get fortunate of what group they're in. They don't know what group yeah. they're in yet. I don't actually know how priority works. I don't know if you if you can request a group either, because there's a, there's a genuine world in which they could go to Malta for Pro League if they play group like A or B to the first set, okay. and then fly to the World Esports Championships and come back for the third week of, of Pro League. It's oh. that's pretty rough. I don't think that's crazy. either. I don't think Eternal Fire or Sangal are going to want two no. of their players to leave. Probably not. Yeah. So. I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. We we could actually see <clears throat> four or five I, of these guys not actually make it to the. the I world can't see a world in which you can request groups of pro league because it's like it's going to be a hell on earth for for yourself to try and deal with. Like, can you imagine <laughs> the logistics of like fifty teams saying like, oh, but we want to play this group this week or blah blah. Like, probably going to yeah. be very hard. Uh, but yeah, either way. Um, so it, it could be that the squad looks different once we get to land. It's it's quite likely. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the end of the day, like if the country as a whole can qualify, then that's you know like that's one in the bag, that's and then the we'll see thing. who yeah. who they end up sending. I mean, it's kind of the nature of the of of the world that we're living in here at over ESF is that yeah, some of these players could end up going uh, and doing some other things in the meantime. But um, yeah, it's part of the fun, part of the mix up there. We will be on Mirage to uh, to decide this best of one with, and then after that, we feel like we've got one more best of one in the day. So kind of a, a longer day but i would say we've had a, a pretty good mix of counter-strike probably i would say for me the surprise of the day so far was probably azerbaijan just playing quite well and i guess in the negative side was denmark just hardly showing up for their game that was really disappointing yeah i mean it's probably sad for you i guess uh, a little bit yeah, more a little bit. as well yeah the the, the boys i mean the i think the thing that maybe would have helped them out a lot is if that denmark the, or the gaming gladiator side who were representing denmark actually had the full lineup i think they were missing two very important pieces nodios and kragen they're the two most important rifles the two you know kragen's yeah, a star rifle and nodios is the big um kind of support secondary star in a sense i think they really were just missing that firepower they had two youngsters who came in honestly didn't even do too bad in all fairness quez has actually been killing it on sashi recently so he's been doing decently um but it is one of those you kind of hate to see it uh yeah and i, I mean what, what can you do as well when when slovakia call up the big guns of frozen as well <laughs> realistically i mean it makes uh, makes that sure. that match <laughs> considerably harder and i guess in the same way for turkey if, if these guys can't even play the the actual the the main event itself for example that they, they've called the big guns up for the qualifier to just to get the country over the line yeah it's working right um mm -hmm. i think you're right probably would have been a little bit of a different affair for for the danish side if they could have had the full lineup but it wasn't even that like it was just it just looked so flat i was like do you guys even you guys even interested in this at all i just i can't yeah. believe that it was, it was that weird but um 
Yeah, maybe they can. Uh, maybe they can still find a way to uh, to recover. I'm not sure if they're. What are they? Are they two two now, or what's the score for Denmark? Uh, they're than... out. Denmark oh, are out. out. Yeah, well, yeah. they they have not made it through. I actually, you know, in all fairness, that whole qualifier is actually done now. So I can while well, well, we've got a little bit of break, I can tell you who's made it through and in, in what position. So from Group A, Hungary, uh, top of the group five and zero. Oh. Uh, Kosovo second, Slovakia third. With you know Denmark, they actually finished fifth behind Ireland. Um, Group B, Germany, Portugal, and France all finished three and one, but Germany had the better round difference. They're first. Uh, group C went Norway, Austria, Belgium, with all of them finishing three and one as well. And over towards Group D, Latvia finished four and zero. Oh. Czech Republic three one, and Spain two two. But enough for them to uh, be over the line. So yeah, there are teams making through. No real big upsets bar Denmark, but by the way, we saw Denmark didn't really look all too competent in that game. So yeah, no no massive upsets, I guess um for me in 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 that one of teams who didn't make it through basically bar denmark but they looked a little rough we're live here though we are in the east european quals now as well over in this instance and uh this is a yeah a game for albania they can take this it would actually shake things up a little bit obviously turkey are more or less confirmed to go through albania they're currently one and one greece are also one and one as well so they'd love to get a second on the board and really kind of up their percentage chances of making it towards those playoffs. Oh, yeah. No question about it. We are going to start with Albania. On the T side, Turkey are going to be the CT side. Wakadi here with the dualies, making very, very quick work of it. That's the wow. best position for them, and he's going to get a triple at the end of it. So, Tiger here on his own, trying to do something with it. One versus three, and... Actually, going into the smoke might not be the worst idea, but they're all on the other side waiting for him, so he was going to get traded. There's three people right around him. So good start for Turkey. They will pick up the round. A lot of it thanks to Wikadia there picking up three kills. Well. Well, well. Wikadia, this is that's beautiful, isn't it? Honestly, my jewelies don't do that. I don't know, you know how no. much of the, of the jewelies you use. Especially yesterday, I... You know, we, we covered the games yesterday, and I, I saw we're kind of even on the Vertigo, same thing. You got two kills with them, and I was like, right, I'm gonna try this. There's no way I'm just this bad with them. I'm, I, I think I'm pretty good at Counter Strike. I'm not like a bad player. Um, I can't use them. I actually cannot. I don't know how people are so crisp with it. it it's a, uh, it's a baffling thing to me. Speaking of Chris, X Loud gets his head ripped off by the Deagle, but a quick response. Cardia okay, for one and a second, and it's actually pretty. Pretty quickly being put to bed here this wow. round. Wow, this this could be a sign of things to come. Under. I mean, this is two rounds done in a minute. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, you know, sometimes it's good to have those rounds out of the way. You know, they tend to drag on someone with a Glock sneaking around, hoping for another yeah. kill. This one was over and done with right away. Turkey looking to see if they can continue this through the first rifle round. Albania, they picked up AKs, and we'll see what they decide to do. Some early grenades are coming out from T-Spawn just to put a little bit of pressure on. Smoking the window. Smoking that top mid position. It looks like it could be ending at the A-bomb site with the early setup here. That's a lot of vision coming through. That's a sick spray for Fates, man. I like it. But the return is powerful. Another deep Molotov landing here. And Tiger in a little bit of trouble. Do they know where he is? I feel like they do. And they're going to be able to find him with Cardia. He'll take the kill. Wants to keep pushing. It's just one player left. And he's trapped in the corner. They know where he is. No question about it. The jump around. <laughs> oh, my God. Relentless <laughs> aggression coming out here from the Turks. Oh, wow. This, this, yeah, this is something, isn't it? I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful early start where for, for, for Turkey, they're making it look so clean. So clean. I mean, uh, we, we, we expect it to be Puggy, uh, and Albania will continue to to fight them, right? Tooth and nail, they're, they're going to fight fire with fire. This is just a style of play from Albania, but like I said, it's always, for me, going to come down to the individuals. It's always going to come down to who's actually got you know, the better fire, by who is the, the more premium player. And, and, and Turkey, you could even make arguments for them being the more premium players in the entire qualifier. I, I mentioned over towards um, that first qualifier, talking about how Amati is... I felt was one of the most talented people in the West European qualifier. At East, it has to be Wakadia. There's no two ways about it. I think for me, he is the most talented player in this entire call. Yeah, well, he's he's proving it now. He's doing a very, very good job. Bomb plants are lacking so far for 
the Albanians. And that's a problem because, you know, obviously lacking a lot of stuff. Oh, trying to knife. <laughs> He's going to knife the Nova shotgun. He will pick it up, but he can't get a kill. Still, I appreciate it. That is very funny. And it was a flying knife kill as well. He wasn't touching the ground. If he, if he got the, the, the Nova just a few centimeters lower as well, he probably gets the kill. And that's on a range, but... Uh... Honestly, another round you'll take. It, that was a, a throwaway round. That means money, right? Money in the back pocket, which we're not going to complain about at all. Could even be an AWP, and it will be an AWP. So there's a silver lining from that, in all fairness. You'll take 4-2-0. These rounds are quick. And even when the guns come out as well, they're very quick. In via mid, Emor got his AWP out. Oh my god, it's a risky, risky peek. The boost nearly catches him. Okay, well, they're doing some work in this one. Alki has been landing some shots. A double kill for him so far. Emor and Jota left. Don't underestimate them, though. I mean, Emor was sick with the AWP last time. He's very quick. He hasn't really had a chance to say anything so far. I think Wicardi and Jota have been stealing most of the kills, so had a bit of a quiet start. But Albania, if they slow this down, pick up the bomb, go to the B-bomb site, they should be okay. But... um. If they run into any of these players, I won't count them out just yet. Gotta be careful still. Bomb has been picked up, and they are taking it through towards the connector, or towards the catwalk position. That smoke probably is a very, very nice thing to put up. Could have been so dangerous if you try to go there without it and suddenly lost the bomb. But the bomb is going to get planted for sure, and I think once it does, I don't see Turkey really trying to run for this round. So, Agreed. good job on the Albanian squad. Yeah, I don't see... A lot happening. I'm telling you, it's not worth it, in my opinion. You've got an AWP, you've got an AK. I just think it's worth keeping all of those and seeing if you can kind of build upon them in towards the next. Nothing worth kind of losing or risking here. So, yeah, easy easy round, all in all. Uh, AK and an AWP saved, or at least for now saved. Face man is a little bit tempted to have a look in, see if there's anything uh, for him to work with. If you can get a kill at the tail end, that'll be nice. Just to really add a little bit more misery to this round, but... Sure. Yeah, but... Yeah. You definitely want to... Save the last couple of rifles here on the Turkish side. I do like that. Um, just winning the fight in the middle goes a really long way. Not much else to say about it, but... Mm -hmm. They're on the T side, so I think... You know, 4-1... Not the best start for Albania, but definitely recoverable. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and see if they can turn this around. Yeah, I'm not going to count Albania out just yet. Especially if they can put up rounds like that in a little bit more of a consistent fashion. Just make sure, I always say it, that this first one that we found now, just make sure it's not a one and done. But uh, yeah, buy back in for Turkey. No problems about that. Going to double up, in fact. That's what KD is going to pick one up as well. He does this a little bit over towards the turn of fire. He's secondary ults behind Woxic, and he's pretty good with it. It's A lot of it's spawn-based. And speaking of the spawn, he has a good one in towards mid. He jumps up on towards short. He wants to fight, and it's actually the rifle that's doing the, the, the primary early damage. It's Emor who clips away the kill, though. So a good opener there for Turkey. Yeah, definitely very good. xCloud will take one in return, and it's going to be a five versus three. So a lot of the potential distractions for the speed push are kind of gone at the start of the round and now can you find a way through m star is right here and they are going slowly if he just holds the line and doesn't get too distracted might have nearly a free kill trying to make their way through smoke to try and help them out a little bit so much damage at the beginning and even though he doesn't quite get the double kill it's close enough face man is on his own and he does get one, but that's all it's going to be. Imo shows up, steals the AWQ right back, and Turkey will claim another round, make it five to one. Yeah, you know, right back to winning ways, pretty comfortably. Nothing really to go uh, I mean, converse there. I, mean, I, I bet it's done even get going in towards that round. Thankfully, they have a reinvestment back in, so it's fine. But yeah, they don't really do a lot in that one. I, and so far, I'm not convinced of what I've seen from Albania just yet. They're, they're struggling to get super proactive in the early round because Turkey is so aggro. They're getting consistently blindsided. But just the, the sheer aggression. You know, Turkey are taking fights at kind of the pace of a freight train right now as they brute force their way into every round despite being on that CT side. Yeah, why not? I mean... 
If you're winning them and you feel confident, they certainly do at the moment. You might as well keep it going. Smokes up and extra. I don't know. Hesitate a little bit there. So awkward fights at the beginning of this round for Turkey and it's backfiring on them. Emor missing a shot, but he'll pick up the next one here. And this round is not done with. Look at the damage that's been output here. They will miss another shot and the bomb. It's interrupted, but just the amount of health that's lost on the Albanian side. I thought maybe there was a chance they were still going to lose it. I think they might be okay now. Although I say that as M-Star picks up two kills and leaves. Faceman and Zig left. And they are again very, very low. The bomb not planted yet. Still a possibility despite kind of the... The way in which this round looked initially, I thought it was kind of done already that Albania were going to take it, but now into this two versus two, he was rapping. He's just not going to be. Ex oh, he's not going to be expected. What is last shot? Oh my god, that is so fast, absurd from Emo and Faceman thrust into a one v two that feels unwinnable. Bomb is dropped in no man's land towards uh, Sandwich. There, I mean, what do you even do? And he's actually Sandwich in terms of his positions. He knows the last guy was somewhere in the region of jungle. Like, granted, that was about 30, 40 seconds ago now, but this isn't doable. He'll pick up the bomb on the cross. He should get caught here, and he will. Emo, that's an, a miraculous round from him. That first shot uh, is just absurd. Yeah, well and truly, and also devastating, no question about it, on the side of, uh, of Albania here. That's just uh, it's the kind of round you want back because they had built it very nicely. It was a good opening. And they end up losing this huge lead. So, unfortunate. And they might not get many chances like that to bring it back. That's kind of the issue, right? It's a six to one scoreline now. Only upside is it was an expensive round for the Turks. So, so, if you're Albania, maybe that's what you're thinking. You think, all right, if we win this round and the next, then probably they're going to be saving and we could be back into it. Face man. He's been playing okay. He's up to four kills with that one. And it's a good start for Albania. Got it's nice, okay. Yeah, as he falls, this round does open up. Oh, one through the smoke's gonna make matters worse. Jota getting aggro. I don't blame him. Jota is such a confident player that when he's starting to feel it, he knows he's fine for him. He's, he's tagged down low. This round is still absolutely doable in the three versus three. Only one towards the B side itself. What could be done here by Amster? And he can't even get one. That that actually might even tempt to save. Yeah, they should be. Shot rings out, but Oof. he wants to go for it. I think that's that might just be a sign of how much uh, the Turkish squad feels like they are. They're the better team here. Otherwise, I don't think you'd necessarily try and, and peak that with the AWP, especially if we don't have the money in the bank either to, to lose it. But whatever, I mean, I again, I guess they are just feeling that confident. It will be T-side to pick up a second round, so 6-2, to two and... Jota will be able to save the gun here. Oh, wait a minute. They're actually executing his. I thought they were looking the other way, but they're going to right run into him. Gets the one. Can't Ooh. find another headshot. It's a fairly expensive round on all fronts, but um, yeah, it's the, it's the Albanian squad that needs to make a bit of a comeback here. Wow. Yeah, that is... That's tough. That's tough. At, a, at this sort of position now for Albania, you can probably say what has been a little bit of a rough start if they can get four rounds on T side, I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's an awful spot to be in. It it still is workable for me. I think anything less is, is still where things get a little bit problematic. And and still the big thing for Albania for me is yes, they're finding the rounds here, but I still need that consistency with Kade up close. Doesn't get cleared, doesn't play tricky this one. He wants to fight, and I don't blame him. Goes two for two. Oh, oh hold the phone. You know what he was close to getting that kill, but he got interrupted in the middle of it, so nice speed behind this one. Not slowing it down, and like we said, if they could win some back-to-back -back rounds here, then they're going to blow up the economy on the Turkish side. It's on M-Star to try and see the clutch it. He already got one remarkable kill right through the smoke. Question is, can he find another two like that? Not at all. He's going to get ju caught jumping, and it will be a 6-3 to three scoreline, but more importantly, it will be the money that is lacking now on the Turkish side, so... Great opportunity right now for Albania to, to bring this one back. This is doable. I mean, the money now, a bit broken. Well, Katie, a nice couple of shots. Just couldn't fall away to get the third. 
And is that shot for the smoke? A bit of fortune, but you take them all the same. And granted, Turkey got one of their own. It just wasn't as impactful. Six to three. Should be made four as well. Like I said, four rounds is doable for me. It might be where Albania find it now. This one surely is a bit of a non-starter. Deagle, a couple of pop shots from Arcadia. There is a Zeus in play. That's what I'm um, more keeping an eye on. Yeah, we all love those. Although, when we rarely do see them, it doesn't feel like ever there's that much excitement happening with them. But, you know, still, it's fun to... Uh... It's fun to imagine that something's going to happen with it. Smoke up towards the middle. Deagle rings out. There is another Deagle in play on Bacardia. Well, that's one way to lose a round for sure if you're battling the Deagle for a long time in the middle here. Careful now, Org. He will go down. So Deagle headshot from M Star. Good return though. Miss shots. That's it, really, isn't it? I mean, just keep the AK alive, I think, if you're Jota. I mean, actually, I say that. It's Jota. I, he, if they go A, he could actually win this. I know he hasn't got armor to work with, but his headshot accuracy is kind of insane. I'm, I'm not actually going to count him out here. It's, but it was only if they went A, and sadly they're not. If they went A, I'm sure he fights and, until he dies, but he actually still could be hunted here, to be fair. One sticking around Khan. Emo, sadly, I don't think he's going to have too much impact here. Oh, it doesn't really look like it. It's got the Seuss out, though. So it could be a moment of real hilarity. <laughs> they jump down. He picks it up, but he can't get the weapon out in time. Still, that would have been sick if it actually had worked out for him. Jota's going to go down as well. And another good round. Okay. We can uh, we can now start to look at this with a little bit more of a kind of a level-headed view in the sense of there's no side in complete control. It, it was feeling with the early start that Turkey was going to kind of run away with this. And that at least was my kind of inkling. Now it's not. I mean, we're sitting at six to four. Buy and reinvest back in, which is good. And it's, it's when the rifles are out, Turkey are always scary. But at least for Albania, they are starting to show up. Everybody's starting to have a little bit of a look in where at the start, it wasn't the case. Emo gets caught. Oh, and the orb goes off for one. Messi fights in via minutes. The flashbangs that gift Turkey two in response. And it's left down to two for Albania. Yeah, it's a real open game once again. A little bit of money here for Turkey to, to put together this round. It wasn't amazing, as you can kind of tell. They've already out of grenades at a minute and 15 seconds. So they don't have a lot to work with. But if they're winning the fights, then it won't really make a big difference. Ricardia going to be showing up here, trying to make the jump around. It's just face man left alive alone, and pretty good. Getting a couple of more kills in here. He is being hunted and kind of trying to be boxed in. Smoke on the one side. Jota's a little bit far away, so X Floud just waiting here. Oh, is he going to beat it? He's going to try and walk right through. It's a that's a cool idea for face man. Not really that scared, but he will go down, and Turkey will pick up a seventh round as we go into round number twelve, the last of the half, and. I don't know. Again, at least Albania, has, they've had enough on this first half that they can they can do something in the second half, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Like I said, and four rounds, it, it, it's feasible, it's workable. Anything less, and I feel a little rough. Like, it, it, it's not really on the cards. I mean, granted, we saw a pretty wild one with that Belgium game where they took it to overtime, but it's a rare one. It's a rare one. Seven to four. The buy is slightly awkward. You know, you got an open AK, which starts well, and then it very quickly peters off into just tech nines alongside it. Orb tunnel visioned in. Lovely shot from Emo. He has remained confident all the way through. He's, you know, only 7-7, seven and seven, but he's hit some ridiculous shots. Yeah. Cool. Important. Nice couple of spray downs here. Emma start. Bursting on through. Once one more, if he can get it. Well, I think he's done enough. Seeker will go down to the last X Cloud, picking up the last couple of kills on the round. It'll be an eight to four lead. So overall, I would say still a, a good, strong lead for the Turkish squad. But I think uh, Albania managed to prove a little bit towards the middle of the game there, and that was that's still pretty important, right? They give themselves a little bit of space. If they can win the pistol round now, it's at least a conversation to be had. Yeah, uh, exactly. Eight four is a workable scoreline if you are the four, but. 
the one thing that does worry me, and, it, and it's, it's something that you've just kind of touched on, if they don't win the first round, if Turkey take it, and it's about, yeah. about how Turkey and the T side as well, they get a ninth and maybe even a tenth as well. So, yeah, that's the thing that could be really killer. Oh, setting up for an A pop, we got jungle stair smoke being set up there. No CT smoke. Yeah, so jungle stair smoke coming over. And one flash on Molotov to work with it. Just some random shots here. Not like you connect. Much less random over at this side of the map. Alki will get hunted down eventually. Trying to see if they can control the bomb site. They don't have the bomb plant yet either. They're kind of fighting their way through. And up close, it's Faceman leaving M Star alone. One versus two. Definitely a winnable scenario here. Orcs already tanked up quite a bit, but it's Sig. Oh, and he gets spotted out. That's actually kind of a nice deal just to know where one of those two players is. Gonna go straight for the bomb plant. So, oh, wait a minute. Gonna say M Star, that's, that's half the battle, right? Get the bomb planted. You've done pretty well, but now he's trapped in here. Oh, but so much damage. He takes down one. He knows where the second is, but he can't find him quite. Sieg will take him down. It's Albania with the pistol in the second half, but still not bad at all for, uh, for M Star. Yeah, he, he tries to pre fire that second guy, and it just looks the wrong way. He. Looks up on high, he's playing bottom stairs, and it's uh, a simple thing. But honestly, well played from Albania in that one, just to give themselves at least a, a bit of a chance at the tail end in that one versus two. But it was actually the early fights that were, were really good from them. They, they sort of expected that coming through. And I think maybe for me, Turkey a little slow. They throw the smokes, and then they pause for about three seconds, which just gives enough time for Albania to rotate over. Guys in towards jungle, guys via mid, they can kind of pull off from that sort of position and commit to the fights on their site. Bomb plot, though, is good. Turkey can very much make that work for them. Not Amster, though. Amster is going to get caught early in this one. He's dead in a matter of moments. Yeah, unfortunately. Three round difference. Still really early on here in the second half, so hard to know where it's going to go, but the AK stolen there on the CT side. That's really early to have one of those. Jota. Okay, that's a very nice peek. He's aware that it could be someone in shadow. Not quite sure. Oh, and he will win the fight. Picks up the M4 and just wants to keep going. This is the kind of play that we were expecting out of someone like Jota. And he's going to get one more kill in there. Unfortunately, Wicardia gets himself killed, but still a two versus three. And it's all thanks to Jota just Winning every single fight. Smoke's up, and that's a bit of a bait. You might not expect it. The Shadow's showing. Had it been an AK, he would have won that fight instantly, but it's a think with the M4, he won instead. I love that smoke. That's such a clever mind game. You're not expecting for a T player to be playing on that side of the smoke when you hear it going up. Imor, going to win that fight easily, and now it's a one versus one. Orc, where do you even go here? It's the big question, isn't it? The rifle picked up for Imor, too. That's huge. Bomb planted open. I mean, this is doable. Smoking the bomb, though. That'll pay out of the fight. Tap. He doesn't have a kit. Yeah, it doesn't, it, there's no way he's winning that all. Going, unfortunately, if he has a kit, different story. Turkey, steal away around. That's a big one to take as well. So, they extend the lead to four. I mean, now we're talking about this getting slowly towards the beginning of the end. And, and the money, the residual cash over towards Albania is not great either. So, they're probably in towards a lesser investment here where Turkey basically get a freebie of a 10th at a 10 to 5 scoreline. It's getting to a bit of a mountain to climb for our Benny to get back into this. Yes, I I don't miss anything around it, unfortunately. Oh, that is uh, that's such a shame for them. They had built up a nice potential comeback, but um, just too much to handle at the end of it. 9 to 5 is the scoreline here. Mac 10 to hunt it down. No reason to stop. You might as well keep the run and gun going. Tiger in a little bit of trouble. He's going to be going down. They will plant the bomb over at the B bomb site. Even if there is a player still in the hallways back there for Zig, he's kind of Molotoved out. So by the time that he gets here, I don't think it's going to be any kind of a difference maker. Might be able to steal away a shot, but no, not even that. Flawless round here from the Turkish side. They will keep it going. They are now doubling the amount of rounds that Albania has. And there's still not a lot of money on the CT side. My God. Yeah, this is, yeah, tough. 10-5, uh, I think for Albania, they, yeah, like you said, when they come back into a buy, it's just not fleshed out enough. So you got a scout to work with, which is maybe pretty scary, but then WMP9, the FAMAS comes through, you know, 
plenty of people are haters of the Famas. Semi understandably, in all fairness. This sad. Uh, it's rough one. You lose this. We're talking about Turkey getting towards match point at 12, more or less, because the Econ shattered once again for Albania. It's a, a brutal cycle you can be stuck on the CT side. Lose a couple of rounds and you're in serious trouble. Bounding out of the window. Emerson's caught by his own team flash. And Org will get one. But thankfully the trade's there. Jota will somehow survive. How has he not died there? Nobody knows. So Wakadi going to get a kill. Jota will finally go down. But now Wakadi has been unleashed. And it means Alki on his own back here. What do you do? Trying to get out and beat the flames to walk in front. The bomb is already making its way somewhere else. As Emo will stick around to the B-bomb side to get the kill. Even if he'd gone down, the bomb would have been planted at A before anyone would have found out. So 11 to 5. Turkey well on their way. 16 kills on Jota, 16, I think, on Wakadia. So, or is that M Star at 16 too? Yeah, and Wakadia at 16. So, wow, they've all got it going on at the moment. It's good. This is really good. Albania, little bit of a buy. Nothing that is all too much to consider, in all fairness. And yeah, I feel like we're very rapidly approaching the, the end of this map here. Zig. Oh, does get three body shots off, in all fairness. The flash is good, but they don't swing off the back of the flash. So, Exile's gifted that kill. He will fall after the fact, but now they know where the last guy is. So, they want Nexus to run all the way towards B. They're going to hunt regardless. He's picked up an AK. He's trying to find the kill, but a reload is needed from Wigadia. It's a little bit of a messier fight, but he'll get there in the end. 12 to 5. And safe to say now, we're at the beginning of... Well, we're at the end of this one. And it's the beginning of the end for, for Albania in this matchup. Yeah. No question about it, unfortunately. They did put up a pretty good fight in some of these rounds, but they just don't quite have the funds to keep up the fight here in the second one. It's a bit unfortunate. Very, very close here. A lot of damage in that round, but 12 to 5 is the scoreline. Turkey, they need but one more round, and they will be good to go with. At the end of it, look at the scoreline. It's a pretty convincing victory. They've looked very, very confident pretty much right off the bat. Great flashbangs in the middle. We'll get Sig killed. There's some fighting back here. Emor, he's going to get one of them. They still want to keep going. They're relentless on the Turkish side. Two versus three to try and see if they can keep this going. The bomb is actually all the way back at the T-spawn. So they're just battling out in the middle, basically to the death. They don't even care about planting the bomb. Yeah, no, that is just not a thought in their mind at all. Let's just fight this. Let's see it off. Like men will throw down in mid and it's left. Just one man left. It's face man, in all fairness, to try and see this off. Nade will, of course, give away his position. Now the one has been picked up. Run towards an MTB site as apartment is clear and it's whole for rotation. Simple as this one's done 13 to 5. I mean, I, there's just no chance. He has a smoke, no kit and no information and no clearance. Emster sees him off. A really solid showing out from Turkey. There was a, a little bit of a conversation maybe at the end there where we were saying, or at the end of that first half, may I say, where Albania were, were competing a little bit. They got up towards four rounds. I said it was workable. And then that second half just never got going. They, they really couldn't find yeah. a way to just break the deadlock. They couldn't stop the aggression. Uh, the, the, you know, you said a kind of relentless coming out from Turkey. They were just so quick. They're so strong and they're so crisp. And what can you do when you basically can't compete with them in, in head to head duels in these 50 50s? Credit to Turkey, super solid 13 to 5, only dropping one round of that second half, just showcasing yeah. their dominance. Yeah, and I think also when you when you are that much of a superior team, you're kind of just you're you're playing for the for the fun of it as well. You just you know you're going to be running into some of those fights and winning, and they certainly were. So kind of cool to see. I like that. Again, this Turkish team looks really really strong at the moment. So pushing their country into the qualifier, which is which is good news overall overall. So yeah, that was the second to last game. I think we've got one more coming up still. So we don't want you to go anywhere. There's still more action happening. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back.